ओके सो हियर वी गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए अपाचे वेब सर्वर and uh, then we'll try to uninstall that so let's see what are the command we have to use for that okay i'll go to my virtual machine so i will select vm1 okay so i will try to connect my virtual machine one first connect then ec2 instance connect then connect so very important okay so web server and all is very important now you can see that successfully i connected my virtual machine right okay so do so okay So first, what is the first command? Okay. So we have to specify yum, then install, then HTTP. So can anyone please uh, describe what is a yum and what is install, what is HTTP? No, no. Back level part. Ah. What are you going to do now? Yum. What is a yum? Package manager. What is the full form of yum? Ah. Dog update modifier. Okay. What is install? That is going to install. What is HTTP? Package name. Right. See, we can add one more argument over here, minus y. Okay, so I will explain what is a minus y. See, but before I will, uh, I will install, I will install my HTTP without minus y. Let's see what happen. End. Okay, so now you can see that. So they are asking, so is this okay? So do you want to install HTTP on your particular server? See, if I put y over here, then if I hit hit uh, hit enter over here, it will automatically install. No problem. So I will give no n. Then enter. Okay. Again, I will repeat the steps with the minus y. What will happen? Automatically. automatically, it will accept. That's it. Okay. Whenever you want to accept automatically, so you have to specify minus y. Then hit enter. So automatically, it will install the particular application without any prompt. See, it is installing now. Let's wait. Successfully installed. Okay. So by default, this web server would not be active. So we can check the status of the web server. So for that, so we have another command. So system control. The full form is a system control. Please note it down. System CTL. So full form is system control. That is going to control your system. Okay. System control. Then status. We can check the status whether it is active or dead state. Okay. I'll go with the status. Then what is the package name? HTTP. HTTP. We have to specify the same package. Then hit enter. And you can see that. So it's loaded, but it is in an inactive or dead state. Are you able to see this? Loaded but inactive stage. Okay. Then how to start this uh, server? This web server. Ah, uh, systems control. System control. Okay. Start. Sorry. Package name HTTP. End. Okay. So now I successfully started, but even I want to check. I want to confirm that it's successfully it's working. So again I will execute system CTL status then HTTP. And you can see that it's ah uh, perfectly it's active and running. Right. So I'll copy the public IP address of my virtual machine one. So this is my virtual machine one public IP address. So I will uh, get my one browser, then I'll paste over you. See, but I'm not able to access my Apache test page. Why? Why? Port number already enabled. Twenty two is already enabled. In the sense, which port number? Eighty. So by default, that is eighty, right? So we can change from eighty to eighty nine or ninety or three thousand or two thousand. So that is our wish. Okay, but by default, Apache port number will be eighty. Okay. So let me go to virtual machine. Then I will enable port number eighty. I'll go to virtual machine one. So I go to security group. I'll go to my security group. And uh, now you can see that in the security group, I have only one inbound rule that is SSH, right? So edit inbound rule. So add an inbound rule. So I will enable port number eighty. So we can search for HTTP. See, suppose if I select HTTPS, will it work? Why? Eh? So that is a secured version. So for we can do that, but for that actually we need to enable SSL certificate, secure socket. We will discuss that later. Okay? So I'll show you as well. So as of now, I'll select HTTP. Then I will give custom anywhere. Then uh, server. I'll go to my web browser again. Then I'll repeat, and you can see that I'm getting the test page now. Right? Right? Okay. So next, I will try to uninstall this package. Okay. So before I'll do one thing, I will change the port number. Let me check the port number. Okay. So now it's working. Port number eighty. Right? So can we change the port number from eighty to thou? How? How we can do that? Ah, never done. How? So we can change the port number. So for that, actually, we have to go to HTTP configuration page. So listen. So I'll go to my virtual machine. This is my virtual machine. So what I'm going to do here? 
See, first we have to go to nano editor. Okay, nano, open nano editor. Please write it on the command. Nano slash etc. Then we have to open. No, that is for SSH. Ah, HTTP. Okay, that is HTTP. First we have to go to HTTP configuration page. See, if we want to change port number of SSH, you can go to etc. SSH. That that's okay. But if we want to change port number of Yes, uh, HTTP. Then you have to go to slash etc. Then SS, sorry, HTTP. Okay, then conf, conf. Please write it down. Nano etc. Then HTTP conf. Then you have to specify HTTP conf. One file is there. HTTP dot conf. That is a particular file. Okay. I will hit enter. Fine, right? Okay. I will hit enter, and you can see that we have a configuration file over here. If you come down, you'll be able to find listen eighty. Are you able to see this? So I will change listen hundred. Okay, I'm going to change listen hundred or thousand. We can put thousand as well. Uh, control O, enter Control X. Okay. So I'll go to my virtual sorry this web browser. Then I'll copy the public IP address. Then paste over here. Then what is the port number? Port number thousand. But it is not working. Why? Everybody. Hey? Okay, then then I will enable. Okay, port number what? Port number thousand. Okay, let me check. I'll go to my virtual machine again. Uh, then security group. I'll go to inbound rule again. So I will add one more protocol. What is the protocol number? Thousand, right? Select custom protocol, custom TCP. I will be have a custom TCP over here. Custom TCP and protocol number thousand. Then select uh, IP anyway. Anyway, okay. Anyway, server. I'll go to my uh, browser again. I'll try. Refresh. I'm not able to access. Why? What would be the reason? Can anyone? Eh? What? Restart. See, whenever we changing any configuration, configuration file, we have to restart or reload. Okay. See, we can use different different commands. So first one, I'll show you over here. Because anyway, I'm recording, right? So who is not attending this class, they will be uh, get this idea. Okay. See. So we have a different different command. So first one we already discussed. What what was the first command you install? Yeah, install. H D P D minus Y. Am I right? Okay, let me just make it as big. Sixteen. Okay. So this command we already discussed, right? So next to start. System C D L. Okay, start. HTTPD to check the status. System CTL status HTTPD. See, suppose if I want to restart my system, then system CTL restart HTTPD. Suppose I don't want to restart, I want to reload the pages. In the sense, see now I configured right. I changed some configuration right. So I can reload. I no need to restart my server again. So what I have to do? System CTL, System CTL, reload. We no need to restart entire server. Instead of we can reload the configuration pages. Okay, so we can use reload. Note it down. It's very important. HTTPD. So you will be get a question might be, uh, okay, I don't want to restart my entire server. It will take around two to three minutes. I just want to reload my pages. So what I have to do? So we can use reload command. Okay. So next, uh, uh, see suppose suppose if I want to stop my server. System CTL. Stop. Okay, system CTL. Stop. I can use stop command. Then HTTPD. Then suppose if I want to uninstall my application. Remove. System CTL. Remove. Okay, system CTL. Remove HTTPD. So these all command we can use. Please note it down. It's very important. It's very important. I'll just make it as enlarge twenty two. Okay, so these all command we can use. Install and start, status, restart, reload, stop, and remove. Okay, then, then, so, okay, I'll go to my server, then I will restart it. Okay, so till now you can see that I'm not able to access the test page, right? But if I go to my HTTPD, see, still I'm able to access. I'll copy this. I'll take. So I'll paste over here, then hit enter. See, still I'm able to access on port number eighty. But I'm not able to access on port number thousand. See, this is port number thousand. So I'll do one thing. I'll go to my virtual machine. 
so then uh, where is my virtual machine so this is my virtual machine so how to restart system ctl restart, restart. 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 httpd huh that's it see if you want you can add dot services as well okay dot service also we can add but uh, system ctl then space uh, then restart hd that is enough okay end successfully done i'll go to my virtual machine sorry br browser i will refresh and you can see that i'm able to access on port number 1000 if i go to port number 80 i would not be able to access see i'm not able to access so can i add multiple port yes. eh? is it possible or not yes how no. see i want to access this server port number 80 and port number 1000 port number 1001 how is possible oh, eh? how see i'll go to my configuration page listen i'll go to my configuration page see here you can see that it's already listen on port number thousand. thousand i can add multiple port over here see for example uh, listen listen and port number 80 and uh, listen Sorry. so port number 80 that is enough control or enter control x then system restart okay hddpd it is restarting now let's wait See, sometimes this will take a very long time, for example, one to two minutes, maybe five minutes as well. So that's what I'm telling whenever you want to reload your pages. So better you can use system CTL reload HTTP, that command. And this will take some time. Okay, anyway, we will look into that tomorrow. Okay, so now you can see that port number 80, that is perfectly working. And port number 1000 also perfectly working. If I go to my virtual machine, okay, successfully reloaded, right? Okay, so whenever you want to reload the configuration, Okay, you have to use what command? Reload. Suppose you change your one port number or name and all. You have to go with the reload. Suppose you want to restart your system. In the sense, end your system. Then restart. restart. Because see, actually I am using Apache over here. I don't have any much data, right? So it will take maximum uh, 10 to 20 seconds. But when you come to the production scenario, so we will be have uh, like uh, thousands or maybe 1 TB data. You getting? So this would not be reload as soon as possible. You getting? It will take minimum 5 to 7 minutes. Maybe half an hour. Right, so that will be create some business impact. So better we can go with the system side deal reload. The pages will be reload. Okay, so still the user will be able to access as well. Okay, fine. Any doubt? Then tomorrow we'll try.